Hello guys, I welcome you back to JN Graphic Tutorial. On this session, we are going to learn how to design a very beautiful pizza flyer. But before that, if you're new here, I want you to consider subscribing my channel for me. Okay, let's begin. So first of all, I will move to my Photoshop. Then we hit on new file to create a new document. I make sure that the width is on 2000, the height is on 2000, and the resolution is on 300. Then because the flyer is going to be used for social media purposes, I'll make sure that the color mode is RGB color. Then I hit on create. Now this is the background that we are going to work on. So first of all, I will create a solid background. So I'll go to this panel. Then I make sure that the code for the solid background is 181. One zero one. So this is the solid color I want to create. Then I click on OK. Then I make sure that the foreground color is on this code A A E one five one seven. I will set the foreground color to this color. Then after that, I will come to this panel, then I create a gradient. So this is the gradient I actually want. This is the gradient I want to create. Then I hit on OK. So I can hold Shift, then select the two colors. Then I press Ctrl plus G to group them. Then I name them. Then I can name them background color I can name them background color then I hit on ok now it has left for us to import our resources so I will go to file go to place link then go to where my resources are then the first resource I'm going to place is a table a table like this so I'll make sure that the table I push I make sure that the table is pushed a little bit downwards like this. Then I will select the table, go to this panel, then I create a care for the table. So I make sure that I click on this so that the curve will be on the table only. Then I push the curve a little bit downwards until i see that the the table is a little bit bent this is what i actually want a little bit bent then that's all i go to far place link then i bring this image i will make sure that this image is change into linear dodge so i will select the image then i make sure that it is changed to linear dodge this is what i actually want linear dodge then i'll pick up my brush too then i'll make sure that the size is about what 200 or something like 511 then i make sure that the hardness of the brush is zero percent then i select my image then i type ok then i will make sure that i brush the edges of the image so that it will blend perfectly with the background this is what this is what actually i want so this is what I will get something like this I make sure that I brush the edges so that it will blend perfectly with the background I push it a little bit downwards so now I'll bring my next resource which I bring the pizza so this is what I actually want to create very beautiful and very nice so I'll make sure that the pizza is a little bit on the table very nice and very beautiful then i make sure that the pizza is 
at the center of the table very beautiful and very nice after this i'll make another gradient so i'll make sure that the foreground color is changed to something like black then i go to the panel create another gradient very beautiful then i go to the gradient i make sure that the white is pushed so that the gradient will be a little bit downwards a little bit at the down of the flyer this is what i want to create very nice and very beautiful so after i'm done with this i'm going to import or I, i'm going to bring some resources to add to the pizza so i'll go to my place link then the first thing i'm going to bring is a tomato so i'll make sure that i resize the tomato to something like this i resize it to make it something like this so i'll give the tomato a little care then I make sure that I click on this thing to make sure that the curve is only on the tomato. Then I push the curve downwards to make the tomato something like this so that it will blend perfectly with the background. Very nicely and very beautifully. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to bring another thing which will be... A pepper very beautiful I will resize the pepper then I bring it closer to the tomato very beautiful closer to the tomato something like this then for the pepper I will also give it another cave I'll click on this so that the cave will be on the pepper very beautiful and very nice so after I'm done with this, I will bring another thing which will be something like leaves. I'll bring my leaves very beautiful and very nicely. I will make sure that the leaves are resized a little bit small, something like this. Then I will select the leaves, then go to filter. Then I go to blur, Gaussian blur. Then I make sure that I blur the leaf a little bit like this, a little bit like this. So something about 9.4, I think it is nice. Then I make sure I duplicate the leaves to about three or four, depending on how you like it. Then I bring some here very beautiful and nice I bring some here very beautiful and very attractive so now after I'm done with this it has left for me to type so I will pick my test tool and create this test box then I type something like pizza capital P small i C Z A. then I select it I make sure that the font is urgent something like this i go to my test panel i make sure that the space between the test is minus 25 then the height of the test is 77 the size of the test is 137 so this is what actually i want then i'll bring it a little bit at the middle of the flyer then i will tilt it a little bit something like this very beautiful and nice so after i'm done typing the pizza i'll pick my test tool and type something like delicious in capital letters then control plus a i will select it then i make sure that the size of the delicious is something about I select it again then I give it a font star of the Homer something like this then I can go to my test panel then I make sure that the size between the tests is zero so this is what actually I want so now after I finish typing the delicious I will select it 
then go to blending option go to gradient then i give a color gradient of something like this i choose a color from a code of f3 e078 then i choose the other color as f4881e something like this then i press and ok then i make sure that the style of the gradient is radial then i click on ok so this is what we are actually going to use for the flyer so i will tilt so i will tilt the delicious a little bit like this very beautiful and nice so this is what actually i wanted very nice and beautiful so after i'm done with this I'm going to create a little box here a little box here then I make sure that the box is something like a color of yellow or something more like this very beautiful so you can pick the color from this the code is e7bb98 very beautiful and nice then i will try to push it a little bit here then on this boss i will type something like order now so i will type order in capital letters now in capital letters then I select it I make sure that I give it a color of something like black or you can give it a color of a very deep brown then you make sure that it is bold then you place it you resize it a little bit here bit downwards and on the box you have created at the down of the flyer something like this very beautiful and nice but still you can also adjust the size of the box so that it will be so cute and nice so after we are done with this I will import another resource which will be something like the telephone number or the telephone sign so I will resize it here so I will resize it here then I will select it I will select the telephone icon and go to blending option then I make sure that I go to color overlay then I pick the same color as that of this but you can also give it a very a brown color or you can also give it a very deep yellow color i think a deep yellow color is very nice then after you are done with this you can check whether the button is on alignment so you can bring your ruler so now we see that they are not in alignment so i will select the telephone then i will push it a little bit down so that they will be in alignment so now i will type again but this time i will type something like free let me set the color to white so that we can see it very well so i will type something like free daily select it I make sure that it is on regular then the spaces between it is minus 10 then I'll make sure that I will resize it to the smallest that I can resize it to something like this then I'll place it here very nice and beautiful then 
I type again. This time, I will type my telephone number to 554 871781. Something like this, very beautiful and attractive. I can select it and now I will make it this one bold. Then I resize it not too small. Then I will place it just under the free delivery. So this is what actually I want. So I will just I will adjust it so that they will be in line with the telephone number. Something like this. I think something like this is very beautiful and very nice. Now after this, it has left with our last resource. So I will go back to place link. Then I bring something like the logo of the pizza work or the pizza flyer i will resize it a little bit then something like this then i will place it at the top of the flyer very beautiful and very nice so this is what actually we are going to get for today so this is the end of the flyer very simple and very beautiful this is the end of the flyer i'm done with everything and this is what our flyer is looking like so beautiful and very nice so you can get all the files from the links that i have placed in the description you can go and download and do a similar thing or something similar quite similar to this so this is the end of the flyer thank you for being a partner with me i hope to see you next time again goodbye